Well, I'm doing this by hand. Of course, you could use an orbital sander. I've got the time. And I can control this a little better. And I'm going multiple directions to try to give it a nice even finish. I'm taping off the three quarter inch, masking it off. And I'll be painting this one, I'll be painting this one three quarter inch spot there with the paint. And then the rest of it will be covered with the sealant. Windows are gonna look great when you're done. I guess they don't leak anymore. We should have waited till the middle of the winter to do all this crap. <laughs> We know how we are with projects. So I wanted to show you what I did with that paint. I paint part of this. This is going to be the part that's going to stick above the window. And the part that where the adhesive is going to go, the sealant to seal it in, and where the screws are going through, I have left that just with just sanded and since I'm using a black sealant it's gonna look the same from both sides I painted this yesterday and let it set up overnight because I'm gonna put the sealant on here and brush it on just to cover make sure I cover all of that and then I'm gonna put a bead on the fiberglass and set the window in putting these screws back in temporarily. So for me, just seeing it how it's done is what I, I, my biggest thing. So this is the setup I got. So this is the fiberglass, it's a quarter inch. This is my trim on the inside. And you can see it. And the way this would, is mounted, this would be my plexiglass. And the screw goes through the plexiglass, through the fiberglass, and screws into the wood. And then that sandwiches the entire thing together. Um, and there'll be a sealant in between the uh, plexiglass, which I'm using acrylic, but um, there'll be a sealant between the acrylic and the fiberglass. And so the screw would look like that. But I'm gonna show you what I'm doing about this molding. So I'm gonna put this molding in. I'm putting these screws in temporarily. And I have drilled. Huh, I have drilled holes. There's one right there and countersunk them. And I'm gonna put flathead screws in into the molding. Then I'll take that'll hold the molding on. And then when I put the plex uh, I put my acrylic or my sheeting on, my glass back in, I can put the screws in from the outside by myself and I don't have to have somebody in here holding this molding in place while I'm on the outside trying to put screws in. So I'll put us put two screws on each piece of molding. And uh, that'll hold the molding in place till I put the glass in. I hope that helps you out, guys. This is uh, day two. I painted the uh, I painted the uh, border on my plastic sheeting. I don't want to go over what I'm doing in here now. So I'm taking a Scotch Brite and I am cleaning off all this residue from the. Um, The butyl tape. It has a kind of, I guess, a petroleum base on it. I'm not really sure on that, but and then I'm taking a sandpaper and I'm going to lightly sand this to really get a good adhesion with my new sealant. And I'm going to do this all the way around. And I'll sand it all the way up to the uh, the tape where I've masked it off. 
But this is gonna get a really good bond this way. And the last thing I'll do is I'll wipe it down with some acetone. All right, I just got this other second window uh, temporarily installed. I want to show you what I'm doing. I wanted to keep a gap in there so I don't squish out all my sealant. So I bought these tile spacers and I'm using them. I cut one side off, so it's only three sides to it. And I've stuck them under there where I'm tightening the screws up keep that sealant from being all squished out and I did it with a three-way like that so I can grab this tab with a pair of pliers and pull this out and then I'll go back around this edge and do a finished caulking job I have a, I did it I've already did a finished job on here and then when I remove the tape, it'll be a nice straight line. Uh, I'm glad I got my tarp up, man, because it is hot. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of these screws in and uh, call it a day. Now I'm trying to fill that back void up. Make sure I get all the way to the bottom of it. So I got that filled in and I'm using my finger wearing gloves because this stuff's probably not good for you. And I'm trying to run a nice smooth tenuous bead. We've gotten the outside finished. So I'd put this tape around the outside border exactly how far out I wanted the seam to be. And uh, hopefully when I pull this off, it'll have a nice straight edge. There we go. Where I glued that block of wood. It's a nice, clean, sharp edge there. So there I ran that bead all the way around. I sealed between the plastic and the fiberglass again, so it's double sealed, I think. And uh, it goes over the edge of the paper. And when I pull that off, I'll have a nice crisp edge all the way around. We got her finished up. I have... Oh, well that didn't work out very good, did it? Look at that. That is freaking clear. Like it. Let's go ahead and look out the uh, outside finished product. Oh, I'm gonna let the piece of tape right there. What do you think, guys? I like it. So, there you go, man. If 
I can do this, anybody can do it. But it looks like there's not even any glass in there. Well, only six more to go. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's our finished. And that's the way the edge looks all the way around. 